Okay, fellas. So we're gonna tie on a little inline spinner here. Change my mind. So we're using this little rod. We're gonna fish with a little lipless crankbait. I've got a lipless crankbait tied on one of my bigger rods, but I don't really feel like taking that off. So here we go. This is the bait here. I think it's a little, I think this is a red eye shad. And we're gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna fish here for probably 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, here we go. Some weeds already. I gotta reel this thing kind of fast. You know, the spool is so tiny that really the gear ratio when reeling in is like nothing. So like one crank of the handle is two inches. Yeah, I got some weeds right away. So that's gonna be an issue. I can't reel fast enough to keep this thing out of the weeds. Spite. I think I got some weeds. Spite. This uh, diminutive rod and all the things I have going against me. I actually have some confidence in this. I, I think we can catch something. I do, I got one. Okay, I got a fish. It's actually a pretty good fish too. Now, question is, how do I get him in here? Oh yeah, oh and he crushed it. Oh he crushed it. Oh no he didn't, he's hooked on the outside of his mouth. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm ice fishing right now. This is a big fish. <sighs> Holy cow. Look at that, that's a four pounder. Guys, the ice rod comes through clutch. Now I got him hooked on the outside of the mouth for some reason, but this is a four pounder. It's on this little teeny lipless. Oh my gosh, look at that. <sighs> yes. Okay, well, that's a good sign. That means we can actually go back to a different bait, which I actually might not do. I might keep throwing that little lipless, but I might retie. Whew. Okay, on <laughs> the ice fishing rod. Let's check that line for phrase, cause that, that is a big fish. This is four pound test. Yeah, it actually seems okay. We're gonna keep throwing it for a little bit. Oh my goodness, okay, this is getting actually really difficult to fish, at least where I wanna throw it. So we're gonna go back. <laughs> I think I got another one. Either that or I got a bunch of weeds. Might have a bunch of weeds. Nope, this is definitely a fish. Definitely a fish. This is nuts. Oh, this, he's putting up a good fight. This might be another good one. It's a good one. It's not as big as that last one, but it's still a good fish. Give me your face. Thank you very much. This is crazy. On the ice rod. There we go, let's let him go. Well, there we go. Well, that's two fish off this far bank over there. So we're obviously not gonna change anything that we're doing. When you're fishing light line, like four pound line, you gotta retie every once in a while. And so I'm feeling this line right here, and there's some frays a little bit higher than that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna chop that off, tie this thing back on. Oh yeah, I can actually see some frays in this line. I mean, it's only four pound line. I'm glad we gave this like a shot. I actually almost drove right by it, went to a different lake, but glad we came here. And uh, I'm glad we decided to tie on this little lipless. The wind is absolutely crazy today. So I thought we might want a moving bait. So this thing, they seem to be hammering it. So we're gonna keep throwing it. The problem is this rod has so, so little sensitivity that I cannot tell whether I have snagged a bunch of weeds or I've snagged a bass. Don't really want to snag bass. And this I think is weeds. Yes, it is weeds. We'll throw two more casts. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna throw the jerk bait a little bit. We might even throw something different too. This has gotta be a fish. This is a fish. There we go. Another one. Oh, this is a good one. Well, listen to that drag. 
Got to think carefully though, the last thing I want to lose this bait. But he's barely hooked. <laughs> he's not even hooked in the mouth. Are these fish just swiping at it? That is a solid two pound fish and he is hooked on the nose. He's not even hooked in the mouth, he's hooked on his nose. Look at that. These are some gorgeous fish. This is insane. Who would know that I have one of my best days here at this little pond fishing with an ice rod. Okay, how is little? You're gonna change it up in one more cast or so, but that's three fish all in the same area. I think that's what they call a pattern. I got another one. I have another fish. Two casts later, in that same area. This is crazy. And this one is hooked in the mouth. This is insane. I've only had one day at this lake like this before, and I was fishing a frog. It was unreal. Whoa, that was very close to a, uh, a hook in my hand. This is insane. I don't even know what to say at this point. We got four fish, probably in like 20 casts at this lake all on this little lipless. And again, fishing an ice rod, 28 inch length with four pound fluorocarbon line. And we're slaying bass. Who could ask for more than this? I haven't even gone through one battery yet today. Holy cow, that's the same exact spot. These fish are just stacked. I think we got a little bit of early green grass going on out there. The wind pushing them into here. And they're just sitting in this grass, in this grass, in the grass in this grass. Oh my God, I did it again. In this grass, ambushing bait. I think I got some weeds here. Yes, I do. I got some weeds. Yeah, we were actually supposed to get snow today. I, I kind of expected it to start snowing while I was out today. I got another one. I got another one. Oh my gosh, it's the biggest one of the day and he just came off. That was definitely the biggest one of the day. Why is it always that the biggest one of the day gets off? I can't complain because we are, we are hooking them like crazy, but that was a good fish. I think I'm kind of honing in on where some of this grass might be. I mean, I haven't even moved. I don't know if you guys like these challenges at all. I really am not a huge challenge person, but this is one that I've seriously thought about for some time now. Spot of the day. Oh, my rod just completely fell over. That's good. It's not like I don't have a uh, expensive setup over there. I've only got my, you know, Antares DC, you know, paired with my favorite Big Sexy. That's not a, that's, you know, that's, that's a cheap combo. Well, then I got my, you know, Synchro Mojo and the uh, Shimano Aldebaran. You know, again, super cheap combo. Oh, you know, then I've got a uh, G Loomis E6X and a Metanium. Again, for the budget friendly. It's always good that those are falling over. Okay, come on, fish. I know that there's gotta be one more here. We're gonna give this five more casts here, and then we're going to head to one more lake. I got one. It seems like a pretty decent fish too. Oh yes it is. Okay, this might be the fish to end the day on right here. Don't throw it. Oh, that sound is music to my ears. Okay, buddy, come here, give me your face. There we go. Well guys, I don't know when when that camera died, but we just got what I'm gonna call it the last fish of the day. This is, I think, number seven on the ice fishing rod. It's another solid two, two and a half pounder. It's been an incredible day. I mean, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I really don't wanna stop, but it's getting late, it's getting cold. If you guys like these challenge videos where we're catching things on little ice fishing rods or Barbie rods or whatever, light line, I mean, this is four pound line. You tell me, leave a comment below. Make sure you give that a big thumbs up because that lets me know that you guys like this stuff. And I appreciate you guys watching so, so much. So let's sign it out, guys. Let's let us let this fish do uh, the good old sign up for you guys. So this is Winnie City Bassin signing out. Yep.
I got one. I think it's a really good fish. I think. Oh god, come on. Don't don't do that. There we go. That's a uh, it's close to three. Actually it's probably pushing three. That is a solid fish. I was just talking about leaving and then sure enough I get I get swiped again on the ice rod. It's been slaying him all day with this little lipless. Let's let this guy go. 